Welcome back. Rudrance for Black and White Network. Well, I think we're just done with fake outrage, aren't we? Yeah. Or did we even start? I don't know. I, I don't think people that lean right ever even got involved. I think a lot of people that are in the middle never even got involved. And, of course, if you're really on the conservative side, you certainly never got involved. Well, the GOAT is back. Dave Chappelle, and he had a surprise opening. He opened for Chris Rock and Kevin Hart up at Madison Square Garden. And Dave Chappelle did not disappoint. He absolutely blasted the alphabet community. And I'm talking no holds barred, no mercy. I mean, we're talking John Cree sweep the leg action, Cobra Kai style. Sweep the leg. And uh, this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. There they are from last night. But I'll I'll get to what what was actually said. There they are right there. It literally has a goat on the stage right there. Madison Square Garden. Wow. Wow. And, of course, Dave Chappelle's been under attack by cancel culture. They've come for him. He had a uh, show. I did a video on the other day that was canceled. In Minneapolis, it was moved to another venue, and the lunatics even protested that show. Well, he's made some comments about that, and uh, wow. <laughs> no holds barred, not holding back. Um, I, I, I sent this message to Matrix about this, and I said, you know, Dave is just completely out of F's given. He's, out, he's fresh out of F, F's given. Uh, no F's given. He's fresh out. None available. It, Dave Chappelle's ability to give a F, it's sold out. They can't get it restocked. It's part of Biden's uh, inflation slash production issues. It's gone like baby formula. This is Breitbart Entertainment. Dave Chappelle calls critics transgender lunatics. And monkeypox is, quote, a gay disease. (laughs) Fresh out of Fs. Comedian Dave Chappelle reportedly pulled no punches at his Minneapolis show this past week where he blasted critics as transgender lunatics and called monkeypox a gay disease. Last Wednesday, the famed First Avenue concert in Minneapolis abruptly canceled Dave Chappelle's show just hours before it opened due to woke outcry forcing him to set up shop just three miles away at the varsity theater it's amazing this venue put out a statement about free expression in regards to canceling a comedian who believes in free expression it's it's crazy as hell according to a review from the star tribune Chappelle's show offered a few surprising turns while not shying away from his brand of boundary-pushing humor. One moment that particularly caught the ire of LGBTQ elemental P activists was when he addressed the 50 protesters who had picketed outside First Avenue prior to the venue canceling the show. Boy, you, you guys need a life. You need to find something. You need to find a higher purpose. You truly do. If you took the time to be outraged, to go out there and hold some signs, you know what? I'm going to keep it real. All these people holding signs, why don't you go get a damn job? How about you get a damn job? What about that? Go to Walmart. Stock some shelves. Go to the Brookshires in Texas. Stock some shelves, okay? Do some work. Go, Go work on the oil field if you can actually find a job. Wow, in the oil field. Chappelle spent much of his time talking about the anger he stirred up this past year. He went into detail about the incident in May when a man tackled him at the Hollywood Bowl, later saying he was triggered by the comics material about transgender people. He also ridiculed the protesters who had spent hours outside the varsity. Again, go get a damn job. Before the show, swearing through bullhorns and picking fights with fans. Where's the police at, for Christ's sakes? Oh, they defunded the police up there. My bad. Chappelle referred to them as a small group of transgender lunatics and joked that they were probably hired by his wife, determined to suck the joy out of his life. That's funny. 
he shrugged off the idea that they posed any real threat. Chappelle reportedly said he can, quote, can see his transgender hit squad coming a mile away as he performed his signature slap of the microphone against his thigh. However, Chappelle's most racy moment perhaps came when he referred to monkeypox epidemic as, quote, a gay disease. <laughs> oh, shit. A recent study showed that monkeypox has been burdening, uh, burgeoning among men who like to do it with other men. Dave Chappelle recently declined to have a performing arts center uh, theater at a former high school that bears his name following a woke student backlash over the closer. During the recent dedication ceremony, Chappelle announced the theater's name will instead be called the Theater for Artistic Freedom and Expression. I've watched this. This is actually a new special that's on Netflix right now. It's not, it's not a stand-up. It's just him up there talking, although him just talking is funny. Quote, when I heard those talking points coming out of these children's faces, that really sincerely hurt me because I know those kids didn't come up with these words. I've ho heard those words before. The more you say, I can't say something, the more urgent it is for me to say it. And it has nothing to do with what you're saying I can't say. It has everything to do with my right, my freedom of artistic expression, he continued. That is valuable to me. And that is not severed from me. It's worth protecting for me. It's worth protecting for everyone else who endeavors in our noble, noble professions. Amen. Amen. Uh, look, we, we know that Dave Chappelle's politics doesn't align with ours. But I also believe that there's a certain section of people that you would have considered to be woke and far left and all this sort of thing that's sort of gotten a wake-up call about, wait a minute, what the hell? All right, I, I've been out there and I've been banging the drum, but what they never understood that we understood was they will come after you, okay? They will come after you. That's why, from the beginning, conservative pundits... You know, people that give conservative commentary, people that talk about this shit, we come right out and say, we don't give a F f from the beginning. I don't give a F. What are you going to do? Nothing. Piss on you. The outrage will be gone in, in, in 24 to 48 hours. It'll be gone out of the news cycle. Now, it'll come back around just like it did with Gina Carano. Uh, Twitter would get outraged at Gina Carano about every eight weeks. She would trend all day long, and you would have dueling hashtags trending. They wanted Gina fired, and I, hashtag I stand with Gina. Well, it would, it would trend about every eight weeks, dueling with each other all day long on Twitter. Twitter's not a real place. We, keep, we, can't, we can't express that enough, but people are making decisions over it, and corporations are making decisions over it. All right, And somebody brought up a great point the other day. Is the outrage mob on Twitter actually bots? Are those people actually real? Because real people in, in a, the actual real world that's got jobs and go do things, they don't have time for this shit. We don't pick up our phones and I'm like, I'm outraged over that. Oh, my God, Dave Chappelle. Oh, my God. We need to cancel him. No. I mean, nobody's got time for that shit. And... Look, we can't lose our free speech, all right? And comedians have always supposed to be have always supposed to have been insulated from this crap. And they're going after comedians, which is a very very dangerous precedent. I understand they're comedians, blah blah blah. They say all kinds of shit that offends everybody. Bill Burr. You you if you listen to Bill Burr, you're like, holy shit, I like Bill Burr, but from a, from a standpoint of just politics, you would be like, he's the very definition of fence-sitter, okay? Because his views are, are literally, he's got one extreme left-side view and one extreme right-side view. And so eventually, he just meets in the middle. But 
I think a lot of people are like that too, to be honest with you, in real life. Um, I love this. I love the fact that he just comes right out and says this. And he's all out of Fs. He doesn't care. And his special that I watched, I loved the fact that he just came right out and said, like I just read to you, look, the more that you try to squash my artistic freedom and expression, the absolute more swiftly I have to attack that particular narrative. The more urgency I'm going to put behind going after that particular narrative. If I know it bothers you that much and you want to shut me up about that, I'm going to talk about it even more swiftly, even quicker than I was before. Oh, I must talk about that now. And what's crazy is they truly believe they think they're hurting Dave Chappelle's business. Part of the outrage for them is y'all are losing. Y'all are taking L's everywhere. I assure you, there's nobody... He was one of the biggest Netflix specials of all time, The Closer, and a huge moneymaker for Netflix. When all of your woke activist bullshit on Netflix is tanking the co the company, it's only people of Dave Chappelle's ilk that's keeping it afloat right now. Nobody's watching your crap. And, and, and the country has just gotten to the point where people are like, I'm sick of you being a... We're, I'm actually offended that you're offended at this point. Plain and simple. Tell me what you think, Black and White Network supporters, Dave Chappelle. I mean, he. I'm not saying he's taking the gloves off. He just keeps them off. I think he's taking the gloves and actually just set them aflame. Yeah. Peace. I'm out. Till next. Black and White Network supporters, make sure you check out the Black and White Network merchandise store. Link in the description. Use promo code USA First, all one word. USA First, all one word. 25% off now.